Lots of Americans got pets during COVID, right? 23 million pandemic pets, it turns out, according to the ASPCA. At the time, many of them didn't know whether they'd ever go back to the office. But now that companies are having workers come on back, a lot of them are looking to bring their four-legged friends with them. Here's CNBC's Andrea Day. Can you get up? Good job. Christina Peru is searching for her first job out of college. I'm looking for a job as a software developer. Hi, wee baby. And what does she want? To be able to take Zoe with me would be amazing. She spent most of the pandemic taking classes from home, her dog Zoe by her side. Good job. It automatically makes me feel so much better. And says the last thing she wants now is to be separated from her best friend. So? I decided to look up pet-friendly workplaces. Searches for pet-friendly office jobs spiked 300% over the past three years. And employers are listening. Here in Denver at the Catbird Hotel, they're testing out a pet-friendly program that allows employees to bring their dogs to work. Good job, Porter. We've gotten really positive response. Walter Eisenberg is the CEO of Sage Hospitality Group. The group owns 60 hotels across the country, including Catbird. I think as we continue to work through some of the details, we're going to be rolling this out company-wide. In South Burlington, Vermont, at Ben & Jerry's company headquarters, furry friends have been coming to work for about a decade. High five, high five. CEO Matthew McCarthy says other companies are now reaching out. To understand a bit more with, uh, about our dog-friendly policies and how we do it. The dogs here are called canine to fivers. They have full bios, even headshots like Raffi. My coworkers wanted to hang out with Raffi, which then made it much easier for me to meet a lot of people really quickly. Good girl, this way. The company is now redoing the office to make it even more canine friendly. We got a first look at these new plans, including white picket fences. I have a hunch that part of that creativity and special sauce that we have at Ben & Jerry's is due in part to the dogs. And Chef, dogs may be the special sauce at Ben & Jerry's, but the key here is they have to be good dogs to come to the office, meaning they can't fight, they can't bark too much. So these barking maniacs, Teddy and Coco, <laughs> usually barking, definitely will not be joining that team, <laughs> Chef. They, they are welcome when the, when the red tally light is not on the camera. Andrea, <laughs> <laughs> yes. so cute. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.